Hi everyone, welcome back to Rocket League Trading Prices. Today, we're going to look at how much certain items have changed in price with all these recent market crashes. Some of these items have dropped in price so much, but that may hint that some increases could be on their way. Also, please consider subscribing and leaving a like on the video. It doesn't take long and you can always unsubscribe later. Thank you. Just quickly, before we get started, we would like to thank the sponsor of the video, AOA. Do you ever find you don't have enough credits to buy all your favourite Rocket League items? And you don't like how most items from the shop are insanely overpriced and untradeable? Well, with AOA, you can buy credits and almost any item for reasonable prices, which will be quickly and securely delivered to your account. The link to AOA's website is in the description of this video. And make sure to use our discount code RLTRADING at checkout to get 6% off your order. First of all, there's the white mainframe. This item just 3 months ago seemed to be rising in price very quickly on PC and PlayStation and was consistently in the mid 20,000s on Xbox and Switch. However, now on PC this decal is worth under 10,000 credits. On PlayStation, it's half the price it used to be and it just seems like it's a bit forgotten in general. This is why I think if the market recovers and trading becomes more popular again, the white mainframe could be one to rise in price a decent amount. On the other hand, the one thing this item has against it is the item shop. If this black market is ever available in the shop again, some people are going to lose a lot of credits, so just be wary of that. Take the white Venic for example. Three months ago, this car was easily worth over 10,000 credits, but now you would be lucky to sell one for 3,000 on any platform. And it was the item shop that caused this mainly, but all the DLC bundles didn't help the situation either. It's actually caused every colour of Fennec to drop in price and become really difficult to sell. This is because, on the 17th of April, people were able to get a white variant of the Fennec for just 800 credits from the item shop. Therefore, it's no surprise that all the other colours dropped in price, because there wasn't really any need to pay more through trading for a crimson one when a white one was available for cheaper. We just have to hope that the white mainframe in the shop last year on the 24th of May was just a one time thing and hopefully we don't see it come back again this year. If we're looking at the items that have dropped in price the most recently, I think the painted vampire bats have to come up. Every colour of this is pretty much worthless now, there is no demand for them on the market therefore they're incredibly hard to sell. As well as that, their prices have dropped insane amounts. I think the best way to describe their declines to you all is just to show you the state of their graphs. So here's a few of them on the screen now, and you can clearly see that there's a massive decline starting on the 17th of June. This is of course when the Vampire Bats were added into the latest Select Favourite series, which made them lose all their rarity which clearly dropped their prices drastically. Sadly, I really don't see the Vampire Bats rising in price again. They were only so expensive in the first place because they were so rare, and now they're so common in trading, their prices are in the bin. Also, the Phoenix prices were affected by the series because they were also available in the select favourites. But, to be honest, even before them being added into the new Blueprint series, I had already lost all hope in them. Also, a lot of, if not all black markets have dropped in price so much in the past few months. Take Dueling Dragons for example. Towards the end of April, a lot of YouTubers, including us, said that this item would be a great investment, because we were all surprised that its value went under 2000 credits. And sure enough, it did rise up in price fairly quickly by around 1000 credits. But now, this item is only worth a thousand credits on PC and PlayStation, which is the cheapest price it's ever been. I would love to say that this item will spike in price again soon, but unless we really see credit demand improve, and we see lots of people taking up trading again, it's quite unlikely. 
but we definitely have seen stranger things happen in trading, so there is still hope for this item. Thank you for watching. If you found the video helpful, please consider subscribing.